people ask, how is it that you Christians came away with this notion of the Trinity? As if it didn't flow somehow from the Old Testament and flow from the very experience of Jesus' person. Well, that's where I'd like to start this one, with Jesus. Because let's face it, if we know anything, we know Jesus was Jewish. Now, I know that's a profound statement to make and that baffles the mind. But think about it for a moment. Jesus was Jewish. He, too, quoted the Shema. He, too, prayed that great prayer of belief in the one God from Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 4. Shema Israel Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad. Hear, O Israel, the Lord your God is one. He prayed that. He believed that. And yet, the experience of Jesus brings to the mind of the disciples. The experience of Jesus brings to the very thought pattern of the apostles something much more profound. In their mind, in their experience of this Yeshua, he is something more than a mere Jew. He's something more than a mere prophet, something more than a mere rabbi. Well, what is he? St. Paul, interestingly, in many places, spoke about him in such high regard. In Hebrews, he said that he's the exact imprint of God's very being. Whatever God is, this Jesus also is. In other places, he said he was equal to God. That being in the form of God, he humbled himself and took on the form of a servant. Wow. In other places, he's the very image of God embodied. He's the firstborn of all creation. Everything, whether visible or invisible, on earth, in heaven or otherwise, was made by, through, and for him. Again, what is this guy Jesus about? In St. Paul's estimation, whatever God is, Jesus also is. Think also about John's expression of this man, Yeshua. Of course, John chapter 1, verse 1, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Wow. Think of John 20, 28. There's Thomas encountering the resurrected Jesus. And he says something we hear very often throughout the Old Testament. My Lord and my God. Adonai Elohim. There's no mistaking it. For the Jew, looking at this very Jewish Jesus. I hear it, don't you? Jesus, you are the one God. And yet, you talk to God as if he's another you do things and you say things that only God can do, and yet you talk to God as another. The word Trinity tries to express this, that when I encounter the one being who is God, he's triune in nature. He's Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Because as we encounter Jesus, as we try to figure him out, he also points us in the direction of a third, the Holy Spirit. And this is also why we hear that one of the things we have to do is to go baptize in one name, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Is it easy to understand? No, not at all. Is it easy to explain? Well, no, as you can see right now. But we do, as Christians, we do believe in a triune God, one God, three divine persons. Why do we believe it? Because we experienced Jesus, and that changed everything. Something to think about. Talk soon.